Do you believe in orbs? How about uh, EVPs? Well, if your answer is yes to both of those, do you believe in ghosts? I'm just going to ask because I sure do. And in this video, we're going to go over some crazy paranormal encounters caught on camera from some old and new TV shows. So sit back, relax, because not too many people know about this footage. And if they know about it, they haven't seen it in a while. Let's get started with location number one. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Bobby Mackey's Country Western Music World. I think that's what it's called. Kind of funny, right, Bobby? Now, this place has been on a lot of ghost shows. Ghost Adventures went here back in the day. And as you can see, this guy right here, Nick Groff, he broke off and did his own thing called Paranormal Lockdown. I do not believe they're on TV anymore, but they caught some pretty interesting stuff on camera. I'll let him explain it. Kentucky, and I am standing in the basement with the one and the only Bobby. Thank you for meeting me back down here. Thank you, Nick. Welcome back. Thank you. It's been a crazy journey so far. And we had a camera over there, a camera on me, and, um, and we were sleeping. And all of a sudden, on our camera, we saw this energy form way back here. It kind of manifested, and it was really small. It started as a transparent thing. And you remember seeing that footage I showed you where it yes, just started manifesting? It was like a ball, it was just moving. Right, and it's like, it almost looks like an energy form where it looked like there was energy form like plasma or something where it had this trace that it was releasing from this ball of energy. And when it was moving past the lens of the camera, that's when you could get a good look at it. But well, I couldn't believe it when, when you showed it to me. It just, you know, it was just you know, really taken aback. But, uh, you know, there's gotta be some energy there. Given the history of this, this building, the history of this site, there's a whole lot there. There's so much history. I'm so grateful to cross paths with you and uh, talk you, more Nick. openly about like what we experienced, this ball of energy that we captured. And thank you, and I'm, I'm glad we uh, became good friends through it all. Yeah, absolutely, and thank you. You can't take good friends. Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania. Now this place is absolutely off the chain. It's definitely on my bucket list to go visit myself, but that's another video at another time. So what you're about to see is an actual ghost that comes up to the camera, turns around and goes back. It happens very fast, so I will play it a few times for you. Basically, these ghost hunters back in the day called TAPS or better known as ghost hunters. Um, I think they went here in 2003. They set up a camera in, uh, in down the corridor here. I guess that would be one of the, uh, the catwalks or something like that in front of the cells. And you're going to see what happens. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. The Crescent Hotel, filmed by once again Taps Ghost Hunters. So I'm going to show you guys a couple clips that they've collected throughout the years. Tell me what you think. Hi, body parts. While me and Grant were checking out the morgue with the thermal camera, I noticed something odd that I just had never seen before. Do me a favor, just rewind quickly. I immediately asked Grant to rewind the tape so I could see what we had caught on the thermal imaging camera. And um, upon him rewinding it, I could see a figure. I could see a figure standing right there in the door next to us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when Jay said, rewind the tape, I was expecting a flash or something. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's freaking me out. Normally, when we catch something on the thermal imaging camera, it's not very impressive. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. I got to look at that again before I start flipping out. But there staring us down was this figure that was no more than two feet away from me and honestly gave me chills. That kind of stuff just doesn't happen very often. It's the holy grail uh, for us investors. Did you see that? I'll stop and see if we can hear it. Oh, yeah, that's weird when you do a slow mo. Look at that. Look, boom. Oh, that's trippy. Look at that. Me and Grant were walking through. We're not sure if it was some kind of an animal or, or what it was, but down the hallway, he caught something, he darted across the hall. Now we're going to play a few clips from Nick and Katrina's Paranormal Lockdown. Now these two have caught some great evidence in the little time that they had their TV show. And uh, I'm really impressed with this. You guys got to stick around to the end because uh, they catch something pretty remarkable. Katrina! 
Do you hear Is yes. that Rob? That's Rob. Okay. Are you okay, Rob? Come here. There's something mapping out right there. Maybe it's Samuel. It's Pop. hiding. It looks like a child hiding under the table. This is amazing. I can see me positioned near the computer on the camera, and I can see you and I can see the child. It's hiding right underneath the table. <sighs> Shh. Hold on, listen. I heard a tap. <gasps> What was that? That sounded like it came right behind me. What was that? Where did that come from? It sounded like something banged on the window. Was that in the room? That's what I thought. I'm shaking. I heard it just surround my whole body. I don't know where it came from. I, I just... thought it came from right behind me. That's why oh I choked like that. I can't like catch that. my breath. My, my, um... My chest hurts right now. If we were to ask questions or try to figure out what's going on here, what's causing the hauntings, I mean, what would you want us to try to figure out? Biggest thing for me is, why was I compelled to buy this house? Uh, that's... Wow. Holy what crap. Was that the Wrong. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Look at... Holy crap! Holy! Last everyone in the gun. That's Careful. crazy. It's still attached. Like yeah. this, this didn't break because it's still look. It's still on the nail. I'm trying to logically explain what's happened here, and I can't. I'm pulling like I'm yeah. yanking. It's literally screwing yeah. that really tight. Talk about poltergeist activity. Yeah. This is one of the largest things that I've actually seen move in a haunting. It takes a huge amount of energy to move something this big and heavy. Uh... The f was that? What was that? I heard that. Katrina, did yeah. you hear? Oh, yeah. It was right next to you. <laughs> I heard that. Back here? No way. What was that? Footsteps. Is that just me? No. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Where was that footsteps? You heard footsteps, right? Here. Where? Here. Hello? Where were In there, you? check there. Anything? Nope. That was weird, huh? Are you getting upset that we're still here? Ow! <gasps> what happened? What the f is that? What happened? Ow. Stop. Back. You all right? What's going on? What? Is there like a, a <gasps> oh bug? Oh my god. Wait. What the f is that? <gasps> oh my god. Hold on, let me take it off. Is, there a, is that from oh your god. camera? Or? Sting? Hold on, hold on. Hold it. Hold, hold on. So that looks like. This looks like bite a zombie marks. hat. There's bite mark here, bite mark there, right What is it? There. It's, um, it looks like a bite mark. This last piece of footage you're going to see is from once again Paranormal Lockdown. And this has got to be my most favorite, creepiest ghost caught on camera. It's, I don't know if it's a demon or a ghost. Like I said, leave a comment below. I'm interested in your thoughts. Tell me what you think, man. This is really, really bizarre. It's almost reptilian. So let's check it out. We've now been confined to the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum for 64 hours. It's late into our third night and Katrina, our cameraman Rob, and I are all experiencing a growing paranormal presence concentrated on the fourth floor. <laughs> you know, stop. What? What is that? What? Did you hear that? Hold on. Where are you hearing it from, Rob? What? Where are you looking at, Rob? What's the matter? Where? I just what? saw something dark. Where? 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 What? Back there. It's... I can't see you. What? I thought I saw something move across that back wall. It's like a low... I can't see shape. Show us. Show us what. Come here. Keep coming. My heart's racing right now. I don't even know what that was. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. It's... Seeing Rob shaking, telling me what he's seen on the camera, it's literally freaking me out because I can't see it with my own eyes. We're in pitch darkness, but only Rob can see it on these high definition cameras. Talk to, no. talk to us. What are you it talking about? Uh, so we were looking down that way. I thought I heard something in my ear. Footsteps back there. And then as I zoomed in on you guys, my focus went to that back wall. 
and at that very last second, it's like I thought, like almost like a large snake or lizard or something just kind of slithered past. Do you have the monitor on you? Can we play it back? Can we play it back? Yeah, let's play it back. Watch, watch back here. And that's when I heard something. Cause you can tell it's focused all over the place. I don't even know what I'm doing. Now watch, right there. <gasps> what the f is that? Uh, it's like, oh that's why I said it's like a wow. snake. Yeah. I'm shaking right now, just looking at yeah. it. You can see here, so watch it again. So here we are. And it's right here that I noticed that it's moving. And it's sliding right across, right to left. And now it's gone. Whatever shape that was that I first saw. I what the hell you were talking about. Yeah, when I was like... What was that? There goes, oh my god. Whoa. It just like... It literally... It slithers. What's weird too is that it's like it's there the whole time. It's just hanging out. And then it was like... Mm. Rob, I've never seen anything like that. So there's something in the middle of the floor, right? Is that what I'm saying? That's what it looks like. There's some white blob. And then when he gets close on me, he's focusing on me. And then like right after that, it starts to move. It's just like a shadow hanging out behind us. And then it slithers away. Right? Is that what I'm saying? That's what it looks like. There's some white blob. And then when he gets close on me, He's focusing on me, and then, like, right after that, it starts to move. It's just like a shadow hanging out behind us, and then it slithers away. Now, you know what's so creepy about this? If you guys look close enough, you could actually see little arms and a tail. It's almost uh, reptilian, like alligator-looking, maybe like a crocodile. This this goes down in, in, in my book as the, the, the best thing uh, in regards to the paranormal ever caught on camera. Just really interesting and really creepy. So this last clip is more like a bonus. It did not come from a TV show. It came from a guy um, named Mark Noonan. Uh, that is going to be him right here. Boom to the left. Mark Noonan is the name of his YouTube channel. It's a prayer and meditation channel. He caught a pretty interesting orb uh, at his father's death. Um, this is his father Joe to the right. He passed away some time ago and he caught something very interesting. Now there is a lot of death videos like this on YouTube. A lot of people find them disturbing and disgusting. And disrespectful and I can understand that but uh, Mark is pretty open you should go over to his channel and make a comment I think this video has got like almost six million views you're gonna see an orb come from the center of his father's uh, stomach area and dart to the right very very compelling it's open for uh, a lot of different types of debate and conversation me being an investigator myself a lot of people mistake dust for orbs but this one is a little different. And uh, the only advice I can give to people is if you think you've caught a good orb on camera, it's going to stand out. It's going to speak for itself and it's going to look a little different than the dust particles floating around around the screen, you know. So here we go. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video. Leave a comment. As always, I love when you guys give me feedback. You know, um, there is no such thing as a bad comment. I have an open ear to anything you guys have to say. Any opinions you have to uh, say or comment about any of these clips I showed. Catch you guys in the next one. Later. So that's going to be it for me. If you guys are into abandoned places like this or haunted places like this or like this, please do us all a favor and go ahead and subscribe. Be a part of what we're doing and uh, check out some of my old videos and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a location in mind and I'll try to get to it. Catch you guys in the next video. Later.